is it easier to get those free agents with uh, looking at when you started in 2006 to today? I mean, do they give you those talks more easily because of the success? No doubt, Amy. I mean, players, you're dealing with the best competitors in the world, and they want to win. That, that's first and foremost, and people talk about all the time about you know the, the, the money luring the player, and of course there's now their finances are a part of it, but th these guys want to win. They want to be a part of winning environments. They they want to win championships. And that's how they're wired. That's why they've reached you know their ceiling as, as players, uh, um, and of course it helps that we've won. I like to think that our environment has a lot to do with that. Uh, we're very pro family. Players uh, understand that, they appreciate that, and um, you know we've earned that reputation. And again, if, and then always, you know, it comes down to finances at the end a lot of times, especially when you're competing with other organizations um, of um, like qualities. And um, you know, again, we're fortunate that you know our payroll. I mean, I think when we first came here it was in the 30, 30 million range. Uh, maybe 50, then it got up to about 50 or so. When we went to the World Series in um, 2014, we had a payroll of $96 million, uh, which was substantially less than what San Francisco had at the time. And then the following year, we, we jumped up significantly into the 130s. Um, it, it, it paid off for us. Uh, we went five games in the World Series. Ultimately, we won. Last year, we went up to 140. 181 games, and um, you know we lost quite a bit of money, um, and uh, therefore, as I said, we had to kind of readdress some things. Uh, but we, we've had opportunity uh, to sign players based on, uh, as I said before, our, I, I believe our environment, our culture, the fact that w we believe that we can win, I, the, the the belief and the and um, the uh, understanding throughout the baseball world that Kansas City is a great place to play. The fans show up, the environment is strong, and um, so you know, we're fortunate in that sense uh, the players want to come play in Kansas City. I'm going to follow up on that uh, because you have a delicate balance of, of that formula, of uh, the winning formula with the nucleus of, of the players that you have that have been together, mm -hmm. uh, Hosmer and Mustakas, and, and that group that has been together now for several years and has had that success. The balance of that with knowing that here in the next season or two, you're going to have to try to find a way to either retain them or replace them. No doubt. Um, and, and that's that's part of the reason that we, we moved forward and, and made a move and, and traded Wade Davis to get back Jorge Soler, a player we control for the next four years. Jared Dyson for Nate Carnes, uh, a pitcher that we control for the next four years. Young players are so crucial uh, for the success of your baseball team, especially in our market, which is one of the smallest markets in sports. We realize uh, that we're never going to be able to keep all of our star players to long-term contracts, uh, but we've been fortunate in the past to be able to do that. The first we demonstrated was Zach Grinke and Joaquin Soria and signed all those players before they were all-stars and Cy Young Award winners. Uh, we were aggressive in signing Salvador Perez to a long-term contract, Alcides Escobar. Uh, obviously, we signed Alex Gordon to two long-term contracts now. So uh, Danny Duffy, our most recent uh, uh, player that uh, we feel is is emerging into one of the top rotation or top rotation pitchers in baseball, uh, 28 years old, and signed him to a five-year contract. Um, and we got to look for opportunities to uh, do that with others as well, keeping in mind that our ultimate success is going to be raising players uh, through the farm system. That's why what we do in the draft, what we do internationally, is is so important uh, to our success.